do you call it when thousands of newcomers set foot in New York City for the first time? Comic Con? Tyler Quick concert? No, folks. You're seeing images of an entirely new wave of mutants who are calling Manhattan home. Before last night, you could count the number of known mutants with two hands. Now, well, some of these guys don't even have hands. We got claws, we got tentacles, we got lasers? Fearsome though they may seem, these new mutants appear to come in peace. The city has set up emergency shelters, and the four karate turtle teams who saved us from Super Duper Fly? I gotta think of a more iconic name for those guys. They organized a pizza drive using unsold pies from all across the city. How will these evolutionary marvels adapt to the Big Apple? Will New Yorkers welcome them? And most importantly, where the heck did they come from? Be sure to like this video and stay subbed as I, April O'Neil, look for the answers. <gasps> Dad? What happened to your fur? I was attacked on the way to the farmer's market. I want names. Do the Franken mutants have names? Dad, <gasps> you can't call them that. Totally on PC. Well, what would be a better name for a mutant who's a New York newbie? Newbie. Works for me. So one of the newbies attacked you? They seem so chill. Also very cute. Don't be fooled by appearances. Look at the four of you. You're totally adorable. Yet you crush Superfly. What? We're not cute. Yeah, Dad. We're totally fierce now. You see the memes. Like that one of Donnie looking totally jacked? Talk about artistic license. No time for jokes. Go to the farmer's market and figure out why the newbies are suddenly acting so strangely. Hey Donnie, I got a math question for you. Oh boy, here we go. You know the Pythagorean theorem? I am familiar, yes. What do the little flying twos mean? That you're gonna repeat sophomore year while the rest of us are juniors. Aha, uh -huh, very funny. You sure this is the quickest way to get to the market? It's rush hour. You don't want to face the subway now.
Look, it's one of the Mubies. What's she doing down here? Flew down a manhole? You there! Are you lost? Can we help you? <sighs> I don't think she liked that. Nobody likes Leo's Robocop voice. That stinger looks mighty sharp. Draw your weapons. Wait, we're, we're gonna fight a Mubi? We don't have a choice. She's ready to rumble. That's one way to shake off the rust. I feel bad for her. No fun getting separated from the pack. Why attack us, though? It's not like we were threatening her. Let's keep going. Maybe we'll find our answer at the market. Let's go. That bee had to come from here. Let's see what's going on. Sure, lead the way. Uh -uh. No, 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 seriously though, is being able to calculate the area of a triangle really an everyday skill? That's how you figure out how many slices of pepperoni you can fit on one slice of pizza. Fair. Math can also help you win a fight. There's a reason we say angle of attack. You know, when it comes to fighting, I prefer a straight line between me and the other guy. Uh -uh. Hey, that hurt. Those must be the Mubies who attacked Dad. Do seem aggro, just like that Rumblebee. Uh -uh! Formation. I thought we were friends with these guys. We broke bread sticks together. Humans are just starting to accept me. You know these guys messed with the small business and we got to this source for all of us. No high school. No girls. No mid-afternoon bacon, egg, and cheese runs. Are you seriously trying to motivate us for breakfast sandwiches? Best pre-game speech ever. We did it! Kinda nice fighting mutants our own size. Since we're here, should we pick up fish for that? Nah, let's just tell them the mutants ate it all. We can get Zot on the way home. Time for some pizza. Why were those newbies acting so aggressive? It's almost like someone flipped a switch. Like when Donnie gets hangry. Yo, I was legit mad they forgot the garlic knots. Free appetizer. Says it right here on the coupon. Does somebody need his mid-afternoon protein bar? Leo, your girlfriend Joey's on. Coming, Dad. But she's not, like, officially my girlfriend yet. I know, I know. Your brothers explained to me about the friend zone. While most of the new mutants remain peaceful as the day they arrived, there have been scattered reports of vandalism. Believing hunger to be the likely cause, the city has set up food banks across the five boroughs. Here in Uptown Manhattan, a group of mutants waits patiently as food is unloaded from a truck. Oh, okay, maybe not so patiently? That's actually kind of tipping, so you, you might want to... Oh, there it goes. Yep, they tip the truck over. Guys, if you're watching, I'm 
going to drop it in and go hide. Ah! April! What happened? I don't know, but we're going to find out. So, any ideas where these guys actually came from? Must have stepped in a puddle of ooze, just like us. Well, not exactly like us, right? They don't talk for one thing. It must have been an extra spicy batch. The Mubis are pretty wild. Interesting to think there could be more ooze out there. Superfly made it sound like the last of it was destroyed in the fire at Baxter Stockman's lab. Wait, hold up. We don't know how old they are. They could be from our same batch. Good point. Hey! Easy mode. Uh, uh, uh. 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 Why are we going into the theater? No time for a movie now. Relax, it's a shortcut. Besides, Leo, maybe you can bring April to a show after we find her. Yeah, a horror show. Oh, come on! so fast. They were hangry. Come on, we have to find April. Come on. <laughs> 
Yay! We did it! Come on, guys. April could be in danger. We know, we know. Moving as fast as I can here. I'll get you. What happened? The stream went dark. Sure, up my phone trying to dive out of the way. Are you okay? Bruised my elbow, but I don't think it's life threatening. Anyway, thanks for saving me. The free press salutes you. Uh, <clears throat> guys, I'm not sure any one of us is safe quite yet. Dang it, we're surrounded. And winded. Cover crew, make way! Stand clear with a charging pig! Bebop! Rock steady! Thanks for the clutch assist! We can't pay rent, but we can offer protection. I see more of them down that way. How about we divide and conquer? Good plan. See you back in the tunnels. That's the last of them. Wow, you guys kick serious butt! Ah, perhaps some of us kick more butt than others? Perhaps some of us do more showboating than others. We've had enough fighting for today, guys. For real, let's take the W and head back to the sewers. Mission complete! Alpine Crush, anyone? Pairs nicely with the olive and mushroom. Uh, we're good with tap water. Actual hydration means we can pound more slices. Do you guys ever not have pizza to celebrate a victory? Do you ever not have cake at a birthday? Do you ever not have cheesy puffs at a land party? Do you ever not have turkey on Thanksgiving? Superfly didn't let us celebrate Thanksgiving. He said since humans took away our father, we had nothing to be thankful for. Though he did promise we could eat humans for Thanksgiving once mutants took over the world. I'm really glad we stopped that plan. I got an idea. Friendsgiving. This year, right here in the sewers. I'm bringing mashed potatoes. You know, Thanksgiving is all about two different peoples learning to get along. That's why we want to invite you guys to a peaceful march. We want to show the city that even though some mutants steal food, most of us are chill. Given recent events, might it be sus if humans see us, like, uh, congregating? Not if we're holding super crafty signs! We, we need to think about it, guys. But thanks for saving our shells back there.
Okay, what shall I do today? Boys, come over here. Hey, Dad, what do you think about us going to a march? When I was a young rat, I loved me a good march. People dropped all kinds of tasty scraps. Hot dog buns, falafel, chicken and rice. It's less of a restaurant crawl and more of a way to show the city that mutants are harmless. But we're worried it'll have the opposite effect. We don't want to tweak people who are already nervous about mutant misbehavior. We're hoping it reads like Fun Mutant Parade, and not mutants taking to the streets. You can't control what people think. Trust me, with you boys, I tried. For example, Extraterrestrial 3 is totally the best extraterrestrial movie. Oh, no, no, no. Strongly disagree. Director's cut, maybe? Yeah, if you ignore the entire third act. You see? I show you a misunderstood masterpiece, you form your own wrong opinions. But what's important is that I have conviction. If you believe in your heart that mutants are good for New York City, go to that march. Geez, that, that's surprisingly, what's the word for it? Wise! Your father is brimming with wisdom. See these whiskers? Each gray hair is a lesson learned. Now, reptile may be as bald as a baby's bottom, but you still learn from each combat. You must choose how to specialize your future training based on experience. I'm confused. Are we going to the march or not? You heard, Dad? Let's do it! Good luck! And if anyone drops anything tasty, remember, 10-hour rule. I'm pretty sure it's the 10-second rule, but yeah, we'll keep an eye out. Okay, what shall I do today? Just got a DM from a guy named Tobias Scanlon. Yeah, that's going to spam. Wait, hold up. Isn't he the Macandrone CEO? Sounds vaguely familiar. It was a startup that popped off two years ago. With the press of a button, you could get vegan mac and cheese delivered to your window. Oh yeah, I wanted to try that stuff, but uh, we don't have any windows. For years, Scanlon bought up almost every single drone that left the factory. That's why I couldn't get my hands on one. He's inviting me to cut the ribbon at something called a coexisting center? Says it's a non-profit dedicated to human mutant harmony. Mac and drones did make him a millionaire at 23. Kind of a cool way to give back to the community. You should do it, Leo. 
Like April said, mutants need all the PR we can get, right? I have to give a speech, though. So? You give us terrible speeches all the time. Thanks a lot, Raph. I'm, I'm actually kind of nervous here. You got this, bro. Just flash a smile and warm up the crowd with a joke about the G-Train. There he is! Seriously, man, so cool of you to do this. No, I mean this! This is cool! An entire building for us to, like, hang out and work on stuff? The next big idea can only come from human-mutant collaboration. Mutate the future. Right on! I took the liberty to prepare your remarks. Wow, this is three pages front and back. Did you write all this? Of course not. We don't write things anymore, Leo. Brain GPT came up with this. Now give me a taste. We're on in three minutes. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and frogs, 
moles, crustaceans, an anthropods. Leo, Leo, Leo. I need you to bring the passion. What's something you care a lot about? I, I don't know. Maybe my brothers? Ah, perfect. Do it again, but this time, when you talk about the center, think about your bros. Uh, okay, take two. We're gathered here today to celebrate this awesome new rec center. It's gonna be a place where mutants like me and humans like you can make cool stuff together. Wow, Leo, that was amazing. You did give great direction. I'm here all day. Really? Because actually, I, I could use some pointers in the leadership department. Doors open, Leo. Let's talk after you knock him dead. Got your mod signs right here. Everyone grab one. I call we come in peace. Nice use of sequence. I like this beaver mutant dressed up as the Statue of Liberty. Humans and mutants holding cams forming a ring around planet Earth? Classic. Mitch off, little turtle. That one's mine. Oh, okay. That's fine. You can totally have that sign. But, like, was your name written on it? Or... Thirsty much? You literally crushed that tap water. Gotta stay on top of that H2O intake. We're gonna be on our feet all day. Hang on. I'm getting an alert. The city's making an announcement. Neighborhood-based curfews? Uh, that sounds like a non-starter for the city that never sleeps. They actually take effect during the day. Areas where mutant activity is high will be off limits until the mayhem is brought under control. I uh, hear. Looks like they released a map of the first curfews. <gasps> Wait, that's our school. But we just started the semester. We risked our shells fighting Superfly to earn our lockers. Does it say how long it'll last? Uh, no. I don't know what metric they're using to determine safe mutant activity. Isn't it obvious? Zero! They're gonna kick us out of Manhattan. This is how it starts. Superfly was right. Whoa, guys, we're as shocked as you are, but that's taking it a little far. Superfly wanted to eradicate all humans. Because their promises are empty! Um, that giant mutation machine is definitely still at the bottom of the Hudson, right? This is all your fault, Turtles! What? How? You made us believe that humans would be cool with us, but it was a lie! Maybe they'll accept cute mutants, like you four. But plus-size animals, like the two of us? Teeth, barren, mubies? Never. Hey, that was a perfectly good beaver sign. Uh, hate to pile on, but looks like City Hall's on curfew. So, uh, might not be needing that sign after all. Ooh, how convenient! We need to do something, Rock. Let the city know we will not go quietly. You mess with the rhino, you get the horn! Clear the way! And they're gone. What do you think Bebop meant about not going quiet? Only one way to find out. Follow them! Remember guys, don't lose sight of Bebop and Rocksteady until we figure out what they're up to. Something iffy is going on. Don't worry, April. We are on it. Yeah, April. We are on it. Shut up!
Does it bother anyone else that people keep referring to us as cute? Nah, Splinter's one thing, he's our dad. But Bebop and Rocksteady? We're intimidating ninja warriors, am I right? Nightmare fuel, truly. I don't know, I mean, April says I'm cute all the time. I, I, I feel like that's a good sign. Highway to the friendship zone. Easy mode. browsing the movies. We can't let them destroy city property. Making me more angry. Let's go. This is exhausting. How much can they run? You need to train more. I can make you a training plan. Guys, you are losing track of Bebop and Rock City. Get on with it. Guys, I think April is right. Something is definitely off with Bebop and Rocksteady. Yeah, I've never seen them run so much. Let's keep an eye on them.
More angry. Looks like Bebop and Rocksteady disappeared. At least we headed off more bad press for the Mubies. Yeah, but the trail's gone cold. Maybe this is a good moment to sit back and let them come to us. Knowing how those two operate, they won't stay disappeared for long. I could use a break, actually. I'm pretty mad about school getting taken away from us. Wrestling club was a great way to blow off steam. Yo, there's a pool at Toby's Coexisting Center. Might I suggest some lap swimming to quell that rage? A little bit of rage is useful, but yeah, I, I think I'll head down there. It's tech therapy for me. Moss has been bugging me to take his new drone for a spin. And I can work on my monologue. Got a minute, Leo? I can use some feedback. Uh, I guess? Thanks for jumping on the grenade. We appreciate you, fearless leader. They didn't stand a chance. I think I found them! Thelma and Louise, but Rhino and Pig. Wish I thought of that headline. A total clickbait. Where are you seeing that? Fellow journalist hyphen influencer broke the story. So what'd they do? Rob a bank? They boosted a bunch of gear from an electronics store in Brooklyn. What happened to showing the city how law-abiding us mutants are? Anyone know a good spin doctor? I know a guy. Though, he also does headshots in Reiki. Is that a red flag? Let's head over to that store and see if we can find any clues as to what they're up to. Why is there a slow jam coming from the couch cushions? That's Leo's custom text home for April. There's my phone! Huh. April's asking if we'll crew for her show. She wants to do a story about newbies volunteering in the community. I'm typically more of an on-camera guy, but for a feel-good story about mutants giving back to the city, I'm willing to direct. If by direct you mean hold a reflector and literally say nothing, job's yours. 
I'll see you all on location. Back. Stores this way. Still can't believe they burgled a mom and pop. Not a great look. I was on vibrate. Hey, why is that your tech talk for April? Because it's our song. 
I guess. Does she know it's your song? She was playing on the radio during our first date. You mean a time you accidentally bumped into her at the bodega? I had just texted that I was hankering for a BEC. Uh, she knows my favorite corner store. Have your own part? Oh, I was wondering why you seemed so bad. Exhibit featuring 19th century German oil painting. It'll have to be a rain check, Mondo. We're literally mid combat. Don't let life pass you by without appreciating art, my dudes. Ciao. Okay, here we are. Let's look for that AV store.
This is the store Bebop and Rocksteady broke into. It's an old school AV place. They don't. We should clean up these newbie raiders. And they say Black Friday is the worst time of the year to shop. Okay, coast is clear. Hey, you guys seeing this? You're still here? I thought we told you to hang back. And aren't you glad I didn't? Have a look. Whose account is this? Be steady. It's Beep Up and Rocksteady's DJ name. Wait, they're in a band? Oh yeah, dudes. It's actually pretty fresh. It's kind of like trance meets R&B. Perfect for an extended sketching sesh. Looks like they just posted a new reel. They think us mutants are a nuisance now. <laughs> they ain't heard nothing yet. Join us for the first stop of the Beast Steady Arena Tour. Oh, don't! You'll be able to hear us all the way from the Tappan Zee to the Verrazano. So they're planning a loud concert? Yo, check out Street View on my phone. Compare the picture of the storefront to the actual storefront. What's missing? A uh, dozen enormous speakers. I recognize those amps. That's enough decibels to make an entire borough feel like they've got front row seats. So that's Bebop and Rocksteady's grandiose act of protest. Overwhelm 311 with noise complaints. If they perform at top volume, they could actually create a sonic boom. That would shatter every window within earshot. They could go to jail. We have to stop them. Concert date and location are in the bio. Hmm, looks like we have a little bit of time to kill. Come by my gallery at the Coexisting Center. There's something I have to show you guys. They didn't stand a chance. Leonardo! I'm awake. Sorry, this mat is surprisingly comfy. If you fall asleep during a real fight, the enemy will take advantage. Draw on your face with magic marker. Are these 4 a.m. dojo sessions still necessary, Dad? Yeah, we got real enemies now. We don't want to tire ourselves out before actual combat. I've already taken your stamina into consideration. That is why today, we will do battle using only our minds. Like, role-playing? Finally! Should I run in my room and grab Bernard's bestiary? Your day-to-day -day opponents can serve as inspiration. So what, we're supposed to daydream about newbies? I will lead a guided meditation. You boys have fought well these past weeks, but you can't get complacent. You must imagine unusual enemy tactics, so when they happen for real, you're ready. I get it, mental reps. 
Now, close your eyes. Let your physical surroundings melt away. Doodly-doo. 